What is up guys? It is Coasters and Things here today, and in a recent announcement by the president and CEO of Six Flags, he said that the teams at the various parks have come to them saying that they've examined their rides and basically are going to be eliminating 15 rides. That means that some of the roller coasters have a chance at getting removed. Ironically, there are 15 Six Flags parks exactly. They have not announced what rides are getting removed exactly, and they may not announce what rides are getting removed. In this video, we are going to be looking at all the Six Flags parks, and I'm going to be showing you all my top pick for what potential roller coaster could get removed from each park. Now, something to note first. I have not been to every single one of these parks, only some of them. For the ones I haven't been to, I'll be looking at their coasters, ridership numbers, and how much maintenance is for them, because those are the two factors. Let's first start with Six Flags Magic Mountain, the king of all Six Flags parks. Now this one is kind of tough, because I've narrowed it down to two coasters, Viper and Ninja. Both of these are old arrows. I'm going to go with Viper though, because it is huge. It takes up a prime spot of land, and I hear it never gets a line. Now, I really hate to think of the idea of Viper getting removed, because I really want to ride one of these Arrow Mega Loopers, and this is the last one left still operating. But you just have to face facts. This ride is not popular and is costly to maintain. Now, Magic Mountain did refurbish this coaster a couple of years ago, so that may be the saving grace for this coaster for a few more years, but I think if any coaster were to bite the bullet here, it'd be Viper. Let's look at Six Flags Great Adventure. Honestly, looking at it, I don't see any of the roller coasters here having a good chance at getting removed. That being said, I have to pick what I think could be the top pick, and I'm going to go with Runaway Mine Train. This is an Arrow Mine Train that is the oldest coaster at the park. It has been at the park ever since it opened. It was supposed to get repainted a while back, but never did. This ride doesn't ever seem to get very large crowds. Yes, it is iconic, and I honestly think its chances overall of getting removed are low, but nonetheless, this is my choice for this park. Six Flags Fiesta Texas is one of the Six Flags parks I have been to, and I'm going to go with Poltergeist. This is a premier ride spaghetti bowl launch coaster, and it uses linear induction motors as opposed to linear synchronous motors. LIMs are outdated, and they tend to cause the coaster to go down. When I was there, it went down after I only got one ride on it. This coaster also goes down frequently for winds, as do a lot of the other coasters at Fiesta Texas. Now that would mean that Fiesta Texas wouldn't have a launch coaster anymore, but hopefully they could replace it with a better, more reliable launch coaster sometime down the line. Six Flags Great America has a lot of roller coasters, and unfortunately I am most likely seeing the classic Intamin racing coaster American Eagle leaving. For starters, this coaster doesn't race anymore. When I was there, I asked why, and they said the structure couldn't handle it anymore. Also, this coaster in the back row was unbearably rough. I rode the blue side in the back and hated it. Now that being said, I rode the red side in the front and actually enjoyed it. I know their original plan was to RMC this, but they scratched that when they built Goliath. Now I can most definitely see American Eagle biting the dust. The original park, Six Flags Over Texas, has one ride that definitely stands out from the rest in my opinion, La Vibora. This is an Intamin bobsled coaster, one of only two left in existence, and it is really starting to show its age. This coaster is very high maintenance, and it doesn't get enough riders to make it worth the maintenance. Intamin doesn't supply parts for their bobsleds anymore. That makes it a nightmare to keep up. Plus, this coaster is over 35 years old. It's only a matter of time before this gets removed, I feel. Six Flags New England has not one, but two boomerangs. This is the only park I know of to have multiple boomerangs. I am picking Goliath due to it suffering from a lot of downtime and it apparently being unbearably rough. This is a Vekoma Giant Inverted Boomerang, one of only a few in existence. I went here in 2018 and this was the only coaster I didn't ride because it had been down for three months in a row at that point. 
This coaster is vastly hated in the coaster community, and the GP seem to be no different. Funny enough, I originally predicted this would get removed a while ago. Well, it might have just met the torch. The closest Six Flags Park to me is Six Flags Over Georgia. I'll be choosing Great American Scream Machine for this park. Now this is the only wooden coaster left in the park. This coaster, though fun, has gotten old and has not aged very well. It never has a line. Plus, sometimes this coaster is actually unexpectedly closed due to retracking. Now it did get Georgia Cyclones old trains a couple of years ago, and those trains were actually refurbished this past off season. That could help this coaster. But out of all the coasters at over Georgia, this one stands out the most to me to potentially be removed. One of two international parks is next. Six Flags Mexico. This park looks really good landscaping wise, almost as good as Fiesta Texas. I'd probably go with Tsunami. Like Harley Quinn Crazy Train, this is a large Zier Tivoli, not particularly notable. But a lot like Great Adventure, I don't see any of the coasters here getting removed realistically. Mexico already has two other family coasters, the Indoor Dark Knight Wild Mouse and the Joker Spinning Coaster, so they can spare this clone Zier Tivoli. Up in New York, Darien Lake recently became Six Flags Darien Lake. There are a couple of possibilities here. I'm going to go with Predator. This is an old crappy wooden coaster by the Den Corporation. This is widely considered one of the worst wooden coasters out there by enthusiasts. It has been talked about being RMC'd for years, and you know, I think it could happen now. It has a good RMC caliber layout, I feel. Plus, in Predator's current state that it is in right now as a wooden coaster, it's just begging to close. Six Flags Discovery Kingdom is up in Northern California, and I'm picking their Vekoma Boomerang, aka Boomerang Coast to Coaster. This boomerang has actually had its fair share of negatives over the years, and it actually is famous for an incident that happened in 1999 where the train got stuck in the Cobra Roll and people had to be evacuated off of it. I think Discovery Kingdom doesn't want to keep this coaster around for much longer anyway. It's just a clone. You can find them all over the place. I could see it getting relocated, though. Six Flags America is widely regarded as one of the worst Six Flags parks, and I don't understand why. I mean, sure, it doesn't have the strongest collection of roller coasters, but the park as a whole looks decent. One ride definitely stands out from the others, though, in this category. You know what it is. Batwing. This is a Vekoma Flying Dutchman, and like Viper at Magic Mountain, I want to ride this badly, because I want to experience a good Flying Dutchman. The only one I've experienced is Nighthawk, and I hated it, but everyone says Batwing is much better. That being said, I don't think this coaster has much time left, if any time. Vekoma does not make parts for their Flying Dutchmans anymore, and this coaster is closed just as much as it is open, it seems like. It breaks down all the time. I'm scared for Batwing's future, to be honest. It hasn't gotten a repaint in years, and that's probably for a good reason. It is always a hit or miss as to whether Batwing's actually open or not. I think this has the greatest chance out of any Six Flags roller coaster to get removed. Six Flags St. Louis has one of the worst coasters out there, Ninja. This is widely considered the worst arrow looper out there, and I can understand why. This coaster was built by both Arrow and Vekoma because Arrow dropped out halfway through building this coaster. This ride is known as an extreme headbanger. Anyone that has ridden this can testify that it is rough and that most would rather have it removed. The Great Escape hasn't gotten any new roller coasters in over 15 years. The last coaster they added was a kitty coaster. A lot of the roller coasters here have been relocated. I say Steamin' Demon could bite the bullet at this park. This is an arrow looper and is widely hated amongst enthusiasts. I know some people that have ridden it and they absolutely hated it. This coaster has been wanted to be removed by enthusiasts for a while now and I could see it happening. Second to last is La Ronde, the other international Six Flags park. This one is tricky because this park has several not good coasters. I'm going to go with Monstra, their racing wooden coaster. This coaster seems to be closed 
as much as it is open from what I've seen. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but that's just what I noticed. So I'm predicting that instead of getting RM Seed, they'll just remove this massive racing woody altogether. It doesn't have an RM Seeable layout, and it would be expensive as it's large and has two sides. The last park in the chain is Frontier City. So far, Six Flags hasn't done much to this park in the two years that they have owned it. But they do have their Aero Shuttle Loop coaster, Diamondback. These Aero Shuttle Loops are hard to find these days. I believe only three of them are left in existence worldwide. These things seem to always be closed. I would definitely see this leaving Frontier City soon, and sadly I don't see it being replaced with another coaster because it sits on a long, extremely narrow strip of land that can't accommodate major rides. So that is all of the parks in the Six Flags chain and what I think could get removed from each of them roller coaster wise. Now this does not imply that all of the rides getting removed are roller coasters. I'm almost certain not all of them are roller coasters. This also does not mean that one ride is going to be removed from each individual park. There might be multiple rides being removed from a certain park, or no rides removed at all from a certain park. I really hope most, if not all of these, survive at least one more year, but we'll just have to wait and see. And it's sad to say, but you may have just gotten your last rides unknowingly on some of these coasters. What roller coasters do you guys see getting removed from Six Flags parks? Do you agree or disagree with my picks? Let me know all that down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Coasters and Things, signing out.